Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Maintaining the proper humidity range is essential for your boa constrictor's health. Today I'm going to discuss the ways that I maintain the right humidity for my boas. If you're new to the channel, this is the place for information about all aspects of keeping and breeding boa constrictors in captivity. So if you want to learn all about these amazing animals, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming boa videos. The humidity range of the wild habitats of boa constrictors is typically higher than that inside of the houses in most parts of the United States and many other parts of the world, so you'll need to intervene to increase the humidity levels. In general, I would recommend a humidity range of 60 to 80 percent relative humidity for most types of boa constrictors. And the first thing that you need to do is check what your humidity is, and I actually have this relatively inexpensive gauge that I use. I just measure the humidity in the room of my snakes and you know I want it to be 60 to 80 percent. It's usually on the lower range which is fine because the cages are typically more humid. But a lot of people will get a separate gauge you know specifically for reptiles and they'll put a gauge in each cage and this is fine too if you want to do that. I just haven't found that I need to do this for my purposes. So as long as I maintain the room about 60 percent the cages will be humid enough. And I take other steps to maintain the humidity in the cages, which I'll get to in a minute. But I just wanted to say that the precise temperature need or humidity needs of your particular boa does depend somewhat on where it's from. And of course, with the range of boa constrictors occupying so, many, so much of North and South America, we have a lot of different humidity ranges. If you have a boa that comes from a drier habitat, like this Tarahumar mountain boa from northern Mexico, chances are it's going to need lower humidity levels. In fact, with these guys, I've never had any issues with humidity. They've always shed perfectly fine. And, uh, you know, I don't take steps to make sure they're drier. Basically, I just humidify my snake room. And then these guys, I don't need to spray down as much. And I'll get to that in a minute. But these guys, I've never had any issue, issues with shedding, and they've always been fine and you know tolerant of the humidity within my snake room. Boas from areas that are higher humidity are, of course, going to need higher humidity levels in captivity. And I found that the boas in general that need the highest humidity are the true red tails, which kind of makes sense, being that they're from a rainforest environment. And so this is one of my North Brazil true red tail boas. And when I first got my North Brazilians, I did have some shedding issues. They would uh, have incomplete sheds and retain some pieces of the shed. I would have to soak them. But I increased the humidity and they haven't had the shedding issues lately. So I'll say now that probably the most um, likely indicator that you do have humidity issues is if your boa doesn't shed in one piece. So ideally the boas shed in one complete piece without any retained pieces of skin stuck to the boa. So if your boa is not shedding in one complete piece or has retained pieces stuck to it, chances are your humidity is going to be too, too low and you should increase your humidity levels. And so um, I see this a lot, especially with baby boas, the baby true red tails, like they'll have these incomplete sheds if it's not humid enough, and they'll retain a little piece of skin at the tip of their tail. And what happens is it's really hard to get off, and then with several sheds, this you get this little cap of skin that builds up. And unfortunately, at that point, typically the boa will lose the tip of its tail. So these animals, they'll have a completely normal life. The tail is just a little bit shorter. But if you want to prevent this from happening, make sure that you increase your humidity. And I'll show you some ways of increasing your humidity in the rest of the video. If you have your snakes just at the background humidity level with no supplementation, chances are pretty good that your humidity level is going to be too low. And it's especially problematic in the winter months. In fact, in some areas of the U.S., the background humidity levels can be as low as 10 to 20 percent inside. So you're going to have to bring that up. And the first choice to start with to bring your humidity up is to get a room humidifier. 
And I've tried several different types of humidifiers. I've tried the inexpensive hot humidifiers that you can get at your drugstore, and I found that those really did not work very well. They lasted about a week and then they kind of crapped out and they stopped working. After trying several other humidifiers, I found this Levoit Cool Mist humidifier and it's worked really well for me. And I've had it for around four years and it's I run it every day and it still works great. So highly recommended. Um, this particular unit you can get for about 40 bucks. There's a link in the description below the video if you want to pick one up. Um, but really good solution for uh, keeping the humidity level higher in your snake room. And the tank holds about a gallon. I'm just going to fill it up. So basically you just open up the tank like this. And it's got this little vent on the top that comes off so that you can use it to aim at the flow of humidity. And then you fill the tank up. And I'm using filtered water. It's highly recommended to use distilled or filtered water just so you don't have any mineral precipitates. Oops. Okay, we had a, almost a little technical glitch there, but. So now the tank is full. And so basically you just screw the cap back on. It's got this little rubber gasket to hold it in place. Okay, and normally I don't spill water like this. And then you just put it on like that. Put the top back on. And then you got your humidity. And you can aim the flow of humidity with a little nozzle. And it works really well. It gets it has three settings. It's right now it's in the high setting, which you get about 10 hours of operation. The low setting you get about 40 hours. I always use it in the high setting and I basically run it about 12 hours a day in my snake room just to keep up the level of background humidity. Another way to increase your boa's humidity is just to spray down the cage or tub a couple times a week. And I get these inexpensive spray bottles at the dollar store for a dollar a piece. And basically I just give somewhere between five and 10 sprays, depending on the size of the cage, about once or twice a week, depending on the boa's humidity needs. And I generally aim it down on the substrate, just so the substrate can soak up some of the moisture and increase the humidity levels. And when your boa is going into shed, it's gotten cloudy, you probably want to spray a little more often to increase the humidity even more. Your choice of substrate, of course, is very important when it comes to maintaining humidity. And for boas that need humidity, the number one best substrate is coconut husk bedding. And you can get the coconut husk. It comes in these cubes and basically they're compressed together. What you have to do is you have to soak it in water and it absorbs a lot of water and that will increase in size. And what this stuff is, is called coconut coir, which is just the material in the husk uh, between the inside, the coconut that you eat and the outer shell of the coconut. And it's a really spongy absorbent material that will absorb a lot of water and it works really well as a substrate. So you soak this block in water and this block will expand to about two and a half cubic feet which is enough for you know probably five or six uh, medium to large boa cages and this is what the coconut coir looks like it's this nice absorbent spongy material that retains humidity really well so really good for maintaining humidity for your snakes I've also found that it lasts longer than something like aspen aspen will mold quickly whereas this stuff I don't know if there's something in it that uh, is mold resistant, but it doesn't seem to mold and it seems to last quite a bit longer than some of the other substrates. Another idea for increasing the boa's humidity is to make a humidity box. And to do that, you get a uh, plastic tub like this, a small shoebox container. You would cut a hole in the tub large enough for the boa, and then you fill it with moss that's available at your gardening supply store. So they sell this spongy moss, which you can just spray down and it maintains a very high humidity level. And then basically you just put this in your boa's cage and the boa is able to go into the high humidity area and soak up the humidity. I've never actually made one of these since I haven't had the need for it. But if you want to provide a small, very humid microhabitat in your boa's cage, you might think about making a humidity box. 
If you're having humidity issues with your BOA, another thing to examine is the heat source. And any heat source with a bulb, I don't recommend at all. Um, you know, such as an incandescent bulb or a ceramic type screw in heat emitter. These bulb type heaters dry out the enclosure way too much. They also tend to get too hot and they have other issues for being good as a BOA heat source. So I would highly recommend if you're using a bulb type heater, switch to either an under the tank type of heat mat or heat tape heater, or use a radiant heat panel that will mount to the side or top of your BOA's enclosure and emit lower levels of heat than these bulbs. Uh, depending on your setup, if you have a rack system, you might want to use under the tank heating. If you have a large plastic snake enclosure, you might want to use a radiant heat panel. In some cases, you might want to use both if the background temperature in your snake room is not high enough. But again, I highly recommend not using any bulb type heater because it's gonna make your snake's humidity too low. Another consideration is your snake's water dish. And if the humidity is too low, you might wanna try a larger size water dish. For most of my adult boas, I use these croc style water dishes. They're about eight inches in diameter and about three inches deep. And they're the perfect size for most small to medium uh, adult boas. For really big boas, you probably want to get a larger dish. The type of enclosure can also influence the humidity. If you're using an enclosure with a screen lid like a glass fish tank, this isn't going to retain humidity very well. So a rack system with big tubs like these or a plastic snake cage will hold the humidity a lot better for your pet boa constrictor. And so the last thing I wanted to touch on is is there such a thing as too much humidity? And the answer is yes. If you push your humidity level too high, it can lead to fungal infections and other issues for your snake. So you don't want to go higher than about 80%. And what I found with the coconut husk bedding, although it's great for maintaining humidity, when you just first soak it in the water, it really absorbs all that water like a sponge and it can be too humid so if you use it right after that you reconstitute it and you know you rehydrate it basically what will happen is the sides of the cage or tub are going to get fogged up because it's so high in humidity so i always soak it and then i let it dry out a little bit before i put it in my snakes enclosures just so the humidity isn't going to be too high so that's my take on humidity i hope this video was helpful if you, as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a line. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.